What's going on, big man? What's your name? Where you from? Universal, UV. I'm from Greensboro. Originally from California, San Jose. Oh yeah, you from Cali? What you doing way out this way? Well, my grandmother, my grandmother, my, grand, my grandmother's side of family is from here. Oh yeah? And, yeah. My mom's mother's side of family. From here. Your mom still living? Nah. Oh yeah, tell me about your childhood, man. What's going on? How, how, how you grew up, man? I'm the only boy out of three kids. I grew up in a house with seven females. You know what I'm saying? Seven females? Yeah. You was the only boy? The only boy. I ain't meet my father until I was 16, like a freshman in high school. A freshman in high school? Yeah. So before you were 16, it was just your mom and the seven girls? It was my mom and my grandmother and my auntie. And Word up. My two sisters and my two cousins. That's all it was. Seven females and me. Seven females and you. So how would you, how would you how would you say your childhood was? Was it normal, um, average? Did you grew up around alcoholism, drug, I drugs, was, in the, in the I hood? I was around pretty much everything. I was around, I was around shelter. I was around um, a good home, but I was also around drug abuse. You know what I'm saying? Alcoholism. I was pretty much around everything. You know what I'm saying? Who was using the drugs and drinking alcohol? My mother and her twins. So they was using drugs. They were twins. Yeah. Your mom got a twin? Yeah. Identical twin? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's what's up. Both of them were using drugs? Yeah. What kind of drug? Um, what, what, what kind of drug? It was on crack. Smoking crack? Yeah. My grandmother, she was, she was drinking. Your grandma was drinking. Your mama yeah. smoked crack? Yeah. So how, how was it uh, How was it being raised in that environment? How, how did it have an effect on Did it have an effect on you as a kid or, 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 or what? Do you think it, it you know? It, Do you think it had anything to grow up with your choices in life? It kind of did. And it kind of didn't, because I make my own choices. I'm a grown man, you feel me? I make my own choices at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I got family members that's on the straight and narrow, you know what I'm saying, that grew up in the, grew up in the house with me, you know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. not doing what I'm doing, you feel me? Right. I'm not doing what I'm doing, you feel me? But, um, yeah, I, I say it's for mental health, mental health issues, you know what I'm saying? Growing up in the environment that I grew up in, you know what I'm saying? Not having a father figure, you know what I'm saying? Not having a brother, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty much that's what made me choose my own, make my own, make my decisions in life right now, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Did you grow up playing any sports or, or uh, yeah, what? Yeah, so I played sports. I played football and I wrestled in um, high school. Yeah, I see you about six, six, five, two, two fifty. Yeah, I was, yeah. I wrestled in high school, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And I played football. Play football? Yeah, I, I stayed in, um, I went to high school in Omaha, Nebraska. Oh, you went to, oh yeah? Yeah. How you, how? That's my, that's my dad's. That's my okay, dad's. so your dad's side of family yeah. from? Yeah, Topeka, Kansas, and Nebraska and shit like that. Okay. So, in high school, how was high school? You, you, high school. You start. High school, it was, it was, that was, it was okay. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was some good times, and it was some bad times, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh, uh-huh. It was rough on me, because me and my father wasn't really getting along, and I had a lot of animosity towards my father. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's some of the reasons that I made the decisions that I made now. What know? type of decisions? In high school, like, so you started using, you started? I, I, I started I started drug use as far as like marijuana, the gateway drugs of all drugs. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, in high school, you know what I'm saying? Uh huh. And um, I did my first, I started drinking right after high school, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's, it's a lot of that has been do with being with my, with my pops, not knowing my, having pops. animosity towards my pops and stuff like that, right. you know what I'm saying? So, so as a 16 year old kid, you went to go stay with him in Omaha, Nebraska, yeah, yeah. and things went down here. Yeah, you know what I'm right. saying? Not, not, not him loving me as a son and showing me the way as a as a man, to be a man. You feel like something was missing? Yeah, it was like a lot of stuff missing that, that, that I missed. You right, that you supposed to got from your father? Yeah. I get that, man. I, I, look, I went through the same type of shit, you feel me? That's what's up. So. 16 went down with your father you started get gateway drugs smoking marijuana then eventually you started drinking alcohol came back here came back to north carolina came back here started got down getting in trouble running with the wrong crowd mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying getting caught up with the law all that stuff and my grandmother sent me to florida with my uncle he was a pastor and that was the closest thing to a father i had you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and he passed away a couple years ago, like 2014, and shit. And that hurt me, you know what I'm saying? Because he was the closest thing to a father I had. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was almost following in his footsteps in the church, you know what I'm saying? I would have been the pastor of my my uncle's youth ministry. You know what I'm right. So you, so you, 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 was on, you was on the road to being a pastor? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what happened? 
It's just that I didn't like the way he was throwing my family's downfalls in his ministry, using that as- So he, he was preaching about the trial tribulation your family going yeah, through? Yeah, and- And you feel like he was shaming your family? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all, you know what I'm saying? So I backed away from him. You backed, you backed I up? backed up, you know what I'm saying? And I came back here. I see you got the book. What kind of book is that? Oh, there's some good books. Turn the book around right there. What's that book say? I see you, you still, you see that? You, you still, you still kind of religious now. Let me yeah, see. You know, I, I see that. I just want to check stuff out, you know. I, I mean, I study all aspects of religion, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not just one-sided no more, you know what I'm saying? I study all aspects of religion, you know what I'm saying? Cause, That's why they call you universal. Yeah. You know right. Yeah. I get it, I get it, I get it. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay, so you, you were down in Florida. In Florida, did, 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 did the drug have progressed or did you come no, back? No, no, I got the job core. Got my certification in um, auto body mechanics and fabrication, right? Welding and all that shit. Left, came back here, got in trouble. Started getting in trouble with the law. Started selling drugs. And all that How old was you this time? I was like eighteen. Okay, 18. before you start breaking law, getting arrested, you was eighteen years old. Yeah. Okay. So I came back here after graduate. I graduated and stuff. I so you did. You walked. Got your diploma. I graduated. I graduated. Okay, that's what's school, that, you know what that's what's good. That's good. I graduated high school. You know what I'm saying. Um, Got up here, got in trouble, started getting in trouble with the law, selling, selling drugs and shit like that. My grandmother passed. I started using. I started using at the age of 19, 20. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I stopped. Cold using crack. what? Now let's back up. I was up. using crack. I was using crack. Hold on. So, okay, so you went straight from, from marijuana and alcohol? No, I was snipping coke. I was snipping coke and marijuana at the age of 19. 19. 18, 19. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so that day that you decided to go from sniffing cocaine to smoking it, what happened? What, what happened? On the, I want to know that first time you decided to take a hit. How, how was that? It was. I was so curious and so depressed about the loss of my grandmother. Because mm -hmm. my grandmother was my mother. You right. Know what I'm saying? And the loss of her, I, I lost a piece of myself. Mm -hmm. So at that time, I didn't care anymore. So you just I, feel like giving up. I just gave up. So I so, started smoking crack. So the, the day you s decided to, to take your first hit, was you by yourself? Was you with a girl? Was you by your was, homeboy? I was, I was I was by myself. I was by myself. So how you how do you how you knew how to I, set it up to smoke it by yourself? You ain't never did it. But, but being in trap, you, you didn't seen it a thousand times. Seen it a thousand times, a million so, times. You know what I'm saying? Right. So so how did it feel that first time you ever hit it? Coming from from what's the difference between the snorting it and smoking it? That first time you you smoked it, did it feel the same as the first time you snorted? It? The high, the high is totally different. High it's two different highs? Two different highs, man. What's the difference? It's like, it's a rush, and then it's like the feeling of, I really can't explain the feeling that you have, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? But it's like 10 times better than <coughs> coke. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And it's just different. Okay. And I started so smoking from when I was like 19 all the way up to I was like 20. 19, 20. I stopped for five whole years, cold turkey. How you do you know that? Just went cold. I, just started, I, I got happy. I found, ha my, found, found happiness. happiness. I found happiness. I found happiness in my baby mother, my first, my first child's mother. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I found happiness. Then me and her started going through the rush. I came back here, met my, my, my two youngest kids' mother, and it was somewhere happiness. Then I start, I lost it. Started back smoking again. I started by smoking when I was like 26. So you went all them years clean? Went all them years what clean. What made you relapse? You lost your happiness? Yup, lost my happiness. So you ain't find your happiness in your baby mama and your kids no more? Mm. Uh, it was just going through the ruts, you know, that a typical man goes through with his baby mother, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, but the typical man don't 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 start back smoking crack because yeah. he, See, if, if, if that's normal, was, everybody go through, I go through it with my baby mom. It was like, it wasn't only that, it wasn't only that, it was, Shit that I was going through with my family. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, they wouldn't support me like they were supposed to. You know what I'm saying? Support you how? Uh, as, as a grown man, what as, kind of support you needed? I mean, like, you know, the support that certain people that, that you need, that you get from your family, like, they, 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 they commend you on certain stuff that you do. Oh, you're talking, about, you're, talking about, you're, talking about, you're talking about emotional? Yeah, emotional. Uh, support. Being a safety net, yeah, you know, having somebody to talk to. Just being there for you when you need in time that and need. Mental, that mental support, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I wasn't getting it from my family. You know what right. Saying? You so, feel like an outcast. Yeah, I felt like the black sheep. Right. And like, boom. 
I lost my happiness. Then I started really getting in trouble. Went to prison in 08. My first time ever going to prison in 08. How much time you do in prison? I did my first time. I did like three bids. Yeah, what that, what that first one was? That first one I did 16 months. 16 months? How, how yeah, was that prison sentence? That, was, that first time in prison, like, I ain't never seen nothing like that in my life. You what you mean? Man? It was the stuff that goes on in prison. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's 10 times worse in prison than it is out here in the streets. What you, what you, what you, as talking, far as what? Like drug use. Oh, so uh, you, they had drugs available for you yeah, in, drug, in prison? They got everything available for you in, in prison. In prison? Yes. They got everything available for you in prison. So you can go. I, so yeah. somebody can go to prison right now and buy crack and weed and uh, heroin, anything. Any anything. In prison. In prison. Buy anything. You know what I'm saying? So you thought you were going to go there and get off drugs. You I, got them, got to start using them. No, I didn't, I didn't use no more. I wasn't using them. I, was, I did my time, came home clean, boom. Started back, you know, I got around, I got around the wrong individuals again. Got around back, the old back, crowd. Back to the same, same old environment. I got the old environment, old people that I used to hang with started back. Boom, I stopped, I stopped smoking in 2013. Again? Again, went cold turkey for a whole six years again. Six years? Yeah, and 28 days, it took 28 days to lose everything that I had worked so hard for. Everything that you built up in six years, and, and everything you I lost it in up, one month? I lost it in 28 days. What, what did you build up in them six years? I had a crib, I had a job, I had a girl that I, I thought that loved me, you know what I'm saying? I had my family look, uh, looking up to me and everything, right. you know what I'm saying? But I lost it. my crib, my girl and my niece got killed on Christmas Eve, like I told you before. I lost all that in 28 days, and I haven't bounced back from that yet. So what made you realize that time? That, that loss. The loss of your, your niece? My, the loss of my niece and everything else that I worked so hard What for. happened to your niece again? She got shot in the, She got shot by her boyfriend's uh, stepfather. Hey, what'd she get shot at? In the face. Got shot in the face? Yeah. At 16 years old. 16 years old. Was it an accident? No, it was intentional. Why would her boyfriend step there want to kill her intentionally? I don't know. I was, truly really don't know why. Yeah. Nobody's like really telling me why, but they were like, he, the stepfather went somewhere. The stepson bounced back and had a kickback, whatever, whatever. The neighbors called the stepfather, let him know what happened. Oh, so they were like having a, 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 a kickback? Yeah, which, which something, is, something Which is like a, little, like a little laid back something, party or something. Something. Got, something got taken to that man to make him go to that. Oh, he, and he came home and something was missing. He and just snapped on everybody. Missing. He snapped on everybody. And he she was the one that got shot. He would have killed everybody in that house. Well, Damn, that's fucked. That's messed yeah. up, man. He would have killed everybody in that house. So when you heard about it, 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 it what did um, it do to you? It fucked me up. It fucked me up. They put me up real bad. You know what I'm saying? She's like your favorite niece. Um, that she's the firstborn. Firstborn. Yeah. Got them for my little sister's kids. She was the firstborn. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She's the same age as my oldest son. You know what I'm saying? And it put me up real bad, bro. It put me up real bad. So did you decide that they had some a play a part of your relapse? Yeah, because I'm coming I'm coming to my family for some for, for some help and support, and they turned their backs on me pretty much, man. When well, your niece got killed? Yeah. Why were they turning back on you because of that? I'm saying, that, 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 she they family too, right? Yeah. Uh, it, it's just that, like, the loss, the, the loss that I took as far as, like, my crib, my job, and all that stuff, I was coming to, to them for help. Typical help that a man would ask somebody for, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, when he falls out, when he fall off, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then, they ain't do nothing. Like, still to this day, my family, my, I, I can't, they don't even call to check up on me. You know what I'm saying? Like they supposed to. You call them? Yeah, I call them. The only time they call me is when they want me to do something for them. That, well, that's how, that's, I mean, that's, that's, how, that's how a lot of people's family is. Mine do the same thing. My sister, I'm talking about my sister. Man, I'm talking about my, my, everybody yeah. too. That's just, the, that's just the mentality of the world. Seem like these days, they, they you, I don't think, I mean, that, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't unusual, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. That ain't unusual. But uh, let's move forward. Okay, so your knees, your knees, having your knees, you start back smoking. Yeah, started back smoking. And then what happened? Yeah. Are you, so where you staying at now? You got family? You homeless or what? Yeah, I'm currently I'm homeless right now. You are homeless right now. So where you sleeping at? Um, I was staying here at the hotels and stuff. I bounced from hotel to hotel. Though. Hotel. Well, how you homeless? I mean, you got somewhere to go in the house, go in there and get some sleep. You ain't really homeless. You ain't sleeping out here, sleeping out here nowhere. So, I mean, last night I ain't had nowhere. Where you sleep at last night? Last night I, I was I was inside the street. I was walking around all night. Walking around all night. All night. All night. I ain't had nowhere to go until I found somewhere to sit down and I took me a little nap. Took sit your nap. Outside. You know what I'm saying? It's not. I, I really don't like like this shit being out here like this. But 
It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like it, what's the? It, uh, what, I mean, I'm stop you from getting help. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to deal with my demons. It's just that my demons are. They they're getting the best of me right now. You know Sometimes you need you know, people in general need help with their demons. Sometimes you can't do it alone. So what, what stopped you from reaching out to the professionals? I, I never have. Never, because y'all did it on your own. I never did it so on you, so you, wait, you wait to get that same strength back, yeah. get find that happiness. If I, could and do you, it, if I could do it before, I could do it again. You know what that's saying? right. It's just time. 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 That's all it is, time. You're waiting for God to just wake you up one day and say, it's your time. Let's go. Yeah. Try it again. I get that, man. Is it so is it dangerous out here, sleeping out here? Um, what? Somewhat, yeah, because you got... You got all kind of elements out here, man, that you could get, that could, that could fuck you up out here, man, and stuff. And What's one of your biggest fears out here? Man, just not waking up in the morning. Just, man, that's something happens in your sleep. Just, just something happens to me in my sleep and not waking up. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's the biggest fear, not waking right. up in the morning. I see you. I see you over there reading books and stuff, man. That's good. Yeah. Keep your mind, your mind elevated. I always keep my mind elevated and keep my mind sharp on certain aspects yeah. of life. So uh, how you how you supporting yourself? Or how you eating and where you get your money well, from to, to you right know now, to survive? Right now I started. I, I'm trying to start my own detailing business right now. I got a little sign up and everything that I'm doing. I am doing stuff positive. You know what I'm saying? I am trying to work. You know what I'm saying? Detailing what cars? Yeah, I do. I, 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 that's my passion. I love I love cleaning cars. I love I love cars. Period. So that makes that makes you happy? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cleaning cars. 